Community is rallying around a widowed father and his two sons, or his two sons, after a police chase ended in tragedy this weekend with the death of an innocent victim. Today, Tai Vu Mim's family broke their silence to talk about her legacy. New specialist Garna Mejia has the story. Garna? Yeah, good evening, you guys. Well, since the time she was a little girl, Tivu Mim's family says she's been a passionate advocate for others and for helping people in need, partly inspired by her parents who came to Utah from Vietnam. And it's exactly that legacy of service that her family says is carrying them through this difficult time. People were just attracted to her naturally. From working with students at Salt Lake Community College to advocating for refugee communities. Her parents being refugees. Even starting a successful artisan bakery in the middle of a pandemic, Trip Mims says his wife, Tivu Mims, had one passion in life, helping others. These are friends she's had for a long time. These are friends she's just met, but they are her best friends. Trip says that's how Saturday started. T was having brunch with a friend. The same routine we do every single Saturday. But on the way home, everything changed. That it was absolutely terrible. 33-year-old T and her friend were going through the intersection at 1200 West and 500 North when two men in a truck fleeing from police ran a stop sign and T-boned them. The men, suspected of being drunk, suffered minor injuries. T's friend is in critical condition, but T died on scene. It was one sentence that changed my life. Tripp isn't ready to get into the details of the crash, but he shared this. I am incredibly upset and know that in a neighborhood that looks very similar to mine, this should not have happened. In the midst of everything, Tripp says his family can feel the support from all the people whose life T touched. That's how he wants to keep her memory alive, by helping others. We have a lifetime to do all of those things for T. Now, I'm told that family is planning on reopening their bakery. Uh, they're actually planning on a big fundraiser in honor of tea, and we'll put that information on our website. There's also a GoFundMe for her. Deanie? Such a tragedy, Garna. Thank you.